everyone, it's Anna. In today's article, we're going to talk about chipped nail polish from the shower. Are you tired of getting chipped nail polish when you take a shower? I certainly am. So by the end of the article, you'll understand how I figured out why I kept getting chipped nail polish and how I discovered the solution. Two years ago, after writing and publishing my book, What You Don't Fix, Your Kids Inherit, I was tired. It had been a two-year labor of love, and I needed a break. I was drained, and I only had one question on my mind. How do I stop getting chipped polish when I take a shower? What I didn't realize was that my simple little question to eliminate chipped nail polish would lead me to a 14-day, six-hour-a-day obsession. I had discovered the vast online world of nail polish and nail art bloggers. That was exciting. The journey. I started asking the almighty internet eight ball, also known as Google, all sorts of nail related questions. Google eagerly dished up the answers. One page would lead me to another, one video would lead me to another, etc. Sadly, I found a lot of crap. Completely wrong advice, old wives' tales, bloggers who can't spell worth beans, and horrendous videos that were blurry, boring, and way, 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 way too long. I know you can totally relate, right? Where's the answer? While weeding through everything, I also found tons of great information, little pearls of wisdom, and other gems hidden in the thousands of pages I waded through. But still, no one had answered my question, how do I stop getting chipped nail polish when I take a shower? Then I discovered the first college textbook that I was willing to buy and read without being enrolled in college. It was Nail Structure and Product Chemistry by Doug Schoon. As I learned about nail structure and how the nails absorb water, my light bulb turned on. The reason. Nails absorb water from both sides, through the pink nail bed and from the nail plate surface. All exposed areas of the nail plate absorb water. I have written in previous articles about how healthy nails are a perfect blend of 18% water and 5% oil. Bare nails can hold almost one third of their weight in water. Water molecules are so small that they easily pass through and around the 50-ish layers of keratin cells. Nail polish is a coating over the top of the nail. Although it looks solid, it is not. Water and oil can penetrate through polish, but at a significantly slower rate than when nails are bare. Many people wonder if oil can penetrate the polish to help their nails be stronger. Absorption is so slow, it just doesn't really have any effect. Nail polish also protects the nail plate from losing water and oil through evaporation and extensive hand washing, especially when using soap. But, like most of you, I use base coat and top coat. I cap my free edges with polish and top coat. Now the top of my nails are protected. But, the underside of my nails were bare, completely unsealed. What happens in water? We all have a natural curve to our nails. Once nail polish has dried, it has dried to the same curve. But in water, bare nails soak up water like a sponge, causing the nail's curve to flatten out. Although polish has plasticizers to keep it flexible, the polish is forced into a flatter shape. That alone might be okay, but there's another problem. Water travels through the nail. In a 10 or 15 minute shower, excess water travels through the bottom to the top of the nail plate. The water breaks the bond with the polish, especially around the edges, which have received wear and tear from daily life. Broken bonds. With the combination of hardened polish bending with excess water traveling through the nail plate, the bond is broken between the polish and the nail plate surface. The result? You've got it! Chipped nail polish. Anna at Ludi 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 has a great example of this in her Crab Feast blog post. Her nails were saturated from two hours of cracking open crabs. 
She thought her manicure would survive, but look what happened. Her entire coat of polish just slid off in one sheet. Water absorption had completely broken the polish to nail bond, and you can see this in this photograph. The solution. In order to prevent chipped nail polish in the shower, prepare your nail plate properly before polishing for ideal adhesion, then completely wrap your nails in base coat and top coat to slow down the water absorption. How to prevent chipped nail polish. Use the following tips to help you prevent chipped nail polish. Number one, wipe your nails with rubbing alcohol and a lint-free pad as your first step. This removes the surface oils and dirt from your nails. Two, use a good base coat. I like a ridge filling base coat and wrap that around to the underside of your nail. Start with very little polish on your brush. I wipe mine on the inside of the bottleneck. If you wipe it on the top edge of the neck, then the polish will harden to the cap during storage. If your nails are short, you'll most likely only be able to cap your tips by running the brush along the free edge of the nail. Don't worry if you get some on your skin. It washes off in the shower. Remember, base coat is formulated to bond to the nail surface, and color nail polish is formulated to bond to base coat, not nails. Number three, apply one to three thin coats of colored nail polish. Let each layer dry thoroughly for three to five minutes. When you can't smell the solvents anymore, the polish is dry. You want to make sure that each layer dries really well so that the solvents aren't trapped inside the other layers, causing it to bubble. Number four, then completely wrap your nails with top coat all the way to the underside also. Remember, a good top coat is also formulated to bond only to nail lacquer and add a high gloss shine. Step five, using acetone and a makeup or artist brush, clean up your polish along the cuticle line. This creates a smooth, flush line with your nail. Excessive polish around your cuticle line also contributes to chipped nail polish. I also wrote another article explaining why acetone is the best choice for removing polish. Number six, Rehydrate your cuticle lines and surrounding skin with a high-quality jojoba wax ester-based nail and cuticle oil. Number seven, apply a new layer of top coat daily or every other day, if you'd like, and wrap that around your tips. Apply nail oil two or more times per day. More applications may be necessary during the summer and the winter because our skin dries out a lot more. Here's another tip. The ingredients that make a good top coat bond to nail polish and have an incredible shine make it a horrible base coat. Steer away from any product labeled as base coat and top coat. It will do neither one very well at all. Removal. After seven days, remove your polish with acetone. Acetone is actually less drying to your nails than non-acetone because it dissolves the polish quicker. Then you want to soak and swipe. I like to unroll a cotton ball and cut it into small pieces about the size of my nails. Thoroughly soak the cotton piece with acetone and apply it to your pinky nail. Repeat with your other nails. By the time you have finished to your thumb, soak another piece of cotton. With firm pressure, wipe the polish off of your pinky nail. There's no need for scrubbing. Trust me, this will change your life. Remember, before removing the polish, wipe a generous layer of olive oil or any other cheap kitchen oil around your cuticles and skin to help prevent the dryness that acetone causes. I also use Q-Tip brand cotton swabs to remove the polish on the underside of my nails. I've tried cheaper brands and they're just not as effective, perhaps because they've wound the cotton around the stick tighter than Q-Tip does. In conclusion, a full wrap of base coat and top coat completely encases your nails in polish. Water absorption is minimized when you shower and wash your hands. This is the best way that I've found to prevent chipped nail polish. Hey, it's Anna. 
I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off and sending you bliss.